Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know who I am, my name's Koala and I'm from X Crusaders. I'm actually the founder and owner of this project and we are building a hardcore Kingdom Maker game in Unity 3D. This game is full 3D for mobile and PC and we're building on the XRP ledger with our two tokens, X Crusader, that's for all premium in-game items and the crown token, what's for play to earn and for completing events, boss events, and can be used in game for governance in your faction and for a lot of other things as well. Um, if you haven't yet had a look, go to www.xcrusaders.com, have a look through the battle paper. In there we have uh, viewable PDFs where it explains the tokenomics of both tokens and our in-game economy and also our game roadmap our game is a hardcore kingdom maker game we want to make this game something a little bit different than the standard kingdom maker games that are coming out um, especially in the play to earn space we want to make it where you do have to grind where you just don't come in and buy stuff and become number one overnight this game you'll have to progressively upgrade and grow your kingdom and your faction to rule. Uh, this game does have premium in-game items that may help with your crusade, and it might also make you look a little bit different to other people, but essentially you can play this game free to play. Talking about free to play, every new player that will come into this game will get a free plot of land to start. It's then up to you if you wish to expand and grow your plot size, um, and that will be a premium in-game item that you will purchase with the X Crusader token. You have eight regions in game to explore and these unlock as you upgrade your castle and your kingdom. So as you progress the regions become a lot harder and where NPCs and players will become a lot harder as well. So you have to keep this in mind when you're playing if, uh, if you're if you're only a level 1, obviously you wouldn't want to go to level 8 because you probably won't last that long. The other side of it is as well, you can play as uh, a team. So when you start the game, you join a faction and this faction is your faction. You can get out of this faction by playing, by paying sorry, uh, a fee to get, um, I guess, released from the faction. Um, but we probably would recommend when you start, try and um, get into our Discord first. Meet people from the factions. It's quite active, actually. We have some games in Discord, and um, we have these little micro-communities now of people in their own factions. So you can come in, you can meet some people, meet the lords of the factions that pretty much run everything, and see which faction you'd wish to join once you can join a faction in-game. So... As you progress, you can upgrade your troops, your buildings, um, all buildings in game, all the assets in game, they're our own. We've designed these from scratch, so we've built them from the ground up. Um, some of the games you can go into the Unity store and buy, buy them already pre-made. We've opted to build them ourselves, and this is purely because we want this to be a long-term game where, you know, we, we want this to be around longer than a couple of years. This is our mission and our vision is to have this for, you know, over 10 years where we go total metaverse where you have faction worlds that fight over uh, territories and things like this. So um, to begin, we have to start from here, what is the eight regions, and then from there, um, we will keep expanding as we go. So with your troops, um, all troops are, uh, have a hero attached to them. So when you're building out your squad or your platoon of troops, you need to be mindful of which hero you attach because some heroes might provide quicker marching speeds or might provide more strength. Um, some might as well be better in different biomes than others. So this is where you need to be, I guess, mindful of this when you're playing is attaching the right hero to the right squad and having a strategy behind this. As well, talking about strategy, there is population management. So you do have to manage your population. If you're constantly getting raided or you don't have enough resources, then what will end up happening is, is that you'll get a negative effect on your kingdom because your people are unhappy. So there is this in-depth population management system where you need to be looking after your people. And also your faction um, works the same way. 
in game you have marketplaces so as you go and mine resources and pillage and get rewards you can go to the marketplace and you can sell these there this includes also um, our both of our tokens um, these can acquire in-game resources or um, other things like speed ups the supply in the marketplace is limited each day so once the resources run out within the marketplaces you do have to wait for a refill for a resupply from the main kingdom that comes in a 24-hour cycle um, this way here is it allows us to I guess help keep the economy healthy um, where somebody just can't come in and and sell uh, you know all their gold and buy it a whole amount of wood and it just keeps going there there are limited supplies on this what makes it a little bit more um a little bit more fun and challenging for the player because you'll have to make sure that you pick when you go to do um to do your trading on the marketplace the tokens earned in game you can use within the marketplace and in game or you can um transfer them out to your external wallet um, that's going to be something that we're trying to do to make it very seamless. This is something we wanted to ensure that for a non-crypto person coming in, they can easily use wallets and not be confused about how to set it up and things like this. So we will have a process in there to make this quite easy for us to do this. Um, because for us, it's about bridging the non-crypto gamers to cryptocurrency gaming on the xrp ledger um, and this is something that we're striving to accomplish um, and even our partner equilibrium games um, with their games they're trying to do the same thing so um, i think that this is the best way to sort of get adoption in the gaming market um, by making it very very easy for anybody to play our game so in game once you start growing and expanding um, you will find it will get harder this is a part of the game. Um, NPCs will become harder, and you'll find that the players you'll be raiding will become harder as well. This will then lead to, um, I guess, faction wars where we will have events. So faction war events. We'll also have invasion days where pretty much raiders will come in and will invade your territories. In the map itself, there are territory placements where factions can hold territories, and this will give a bonus effect. So playing together in a faction, staying together as a faction, um, and then capturing these stronghold points um, will also provide benefits to everybody that's, um, that's actively trying to take over these places. So moving away from this, Currently, we've been uh, releasing a lot of in-game footage um, this week of us placing buildings and doing some testing around um, that and also villages building. Uh, we've been showing a lot of the uh, completed buildings with uh, animations, so you can see that. Um, this month, we've also um, partnered up with Tippa um, to do a rewards faucet. So now you can claim daily crown and X crusader by just holding. Um, so you can easily go to our website, www.xcrusaders.com. At the top of that page, it has claim rewards. If you click that, it'll take you to the, uh, tipper faucet page, and then you can see how to do it. So you need to be holding 10,000 TPR token. What works out to be, I think, under 5XRP or something like this is quite easy. And once you have that, your wallet's linked. It's very easy to claim. The other thing we're doing now is after mass voting, we're moving to weekly airdrops. We were doing monthly airdrops before. We've, uh, we've come forth and said, hey, what, what do you guys think about doing weekly? Um, I think it was something like 89% of our community said weekly. So as we listen to our community, we are now moving to weekly airdrops. That will be starting in the next couple of weeks. What will be quite cool because now you'll be able to get daily rewards and also weekly airdrops. What's quite cool. The next point is that we'll be having the NFTs for faction NFTs, warrior princess NFTs, goddess NFTs on the Equilibrium Games website marketplace once that comes live you'll be able to hold our nfts uh and earn crown token and with some x crusader token as well while you hold these nfts these nfts can then also be used in game as your profile picture 
and by linking your NFT to your game profile will also provide extra perks that you'll learn about more once this comes into effect. So by holding the NFTs being sold on the Equilibrium Games Marketplace will be beneficial in providing extra rewards if you wish and it's something that's quite cool. Um, to give you an idea, the Warrior Princess NFT collection that we're doing now, there's only going to be 30 of these. Um, they're quite limited, these are ultra rares, and they will provide you with X Crusader and Crown token drops. Um, our faction NFTs, um, there's 10 collections, 250 NFTs per collection. Um, these ones here, you'll be able to earn Crown token. So uh, we have different NFT collections being launched on their marketplace that will provide different rewards. We'll also have our crossover NFT collections. Um, so if you don't know, we actually have done uh, crossover NFTs where it's an armor set that can be used in the Equilibrium Games uh, game and also within the X Crusaders game. Um, so you can hold one NFT and have the benefit of being able to use them in both games. So for me, I, I haven't seen anything like that yet. I think we're probably the first ones to do this together. Um, what's quite something quite unique and something quite different. And um, there'll be more of that to come, I'm very, very sure, in the near future. So at the moment, that seems to be it. Um, we'll have some more updates coming out quite shortly. Um, until next time, everybody, um, stay safe. And if you have any questions, please join us in Discord, Telegram, or leave a message in uh, the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, share our, um, our video. It really helps us uh, get everybody to see our project. And we wish you all well. Bye.